Right, so this is a Doctor Who adipose dress toy. Um, it's a character that appeared in the fourth series of Doctor Who, or the current run of Doctor Who. Um, interestingly, it doesn't actually have a Doctor Who logo on the front of it, but it does have one on the top of the box. It's slightly blocked by a sticker there, but... You've also got it on the sides and a uh, little CG image of the character as it appeared in the episode. Uh, this was um, this appeared in the series or season 4 uh, of Doctor Who uh, which was a David Tennant uh, when he was still the Doctor. Uh, it's got quite a good likeness in comparison to the, the image on the side. I mean obviously that's how it appeared. So they've managed to capture the look of it quite well. Uh, there's a little bit of a write-up on the back. Um, I'm not going to read it, but I'll hold that up for you to have a look at if you want. And there we go. I mean, this was uh, well, this is a, a official BBC licensed product. It was released by Wow Stuff, which isn't a company of heard about really but it looks quite good and I'm gonna get it out of the pack and take a closer look at it so here it is out of the packaging and uh, it's quite strange really the uh, the first thing about it is it's it's very oily you can definitely tell in the plastic that it feels quite oily a little bit sticky and uh, this thing is going to be terrible for collecting hair and dust and crap on it. So it's possible if it, uh, after if you rinse it under a tap or something like that, it might not be as bad. But at the moment, <clears throat> it's quite strange. Second thing, this isn't like any kind of uh, stress toy or stress ball or anything like that I've ever seen before. Where usually they're completely full of something like a um, well, I'm not really sure actually but I've never opened one up but this it's uh, it's like a strange sort of balloon type thing in a way and it just feels like it's got a chunk of play-doh or something like that in it so when you squeeze it it doesn't actually return back to its original shape very well it's just like it's got a, a lump of clay or play-doh or something like that inside it and it sort of stays where you uh, stays where you put it and it's gone All right. but <laughs> It's a funny looking little thing, you've got the, the the arms here, they don't really move, they've not got anything in them. Because it's like there's a, a little, a, well, it, when I got it out of the box it felt like it had a little cube of um, some kind of putty in there. Uh, there's none in there and uh, not really anything in the feet either. But you can sort of see how sticky it is, the way the hands stick into the body there and then it sort of works its way off but yeah, you can squeeze it and stretch it and all that sort of stuff but you will have to move it around afterwards sort of squish all the stuff inside back into place But as a likeness, I mean, these uh, characters in the Doctor Who episode uh, kind of, they, they're sort of portrayed as like innocent little creatures in a way, but they're basically harvested from human fat. It's a weird sort of concept, really. But, yeah, he can be pulled around. There's not very much to say about it, really. Uh, that's 
pretty much it. So he does seem to be able to take a bit of abuse. So anyway, there you go, uh, Doctor Who Adipose Stress Tie, um, quite easily available still, and yeah, if you like it, and you like Doctor Who, pick them up, but yeah, definitely have a strange feeling on your hands after you've messed with this a little bit, so I probably will try and rinse this under a tap, see if that makes it any better. And uh, there you go, so bye bye, and thank you for watching. It's all gone down into his belly. Uh, just to add something, actually when you squeeze it at the eye, you can kind of see inside. It's some like some strange sort of strange looking stuff in there. Sort of a weird putty. Uh oh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, I think I broke him. <laughs>